Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for 5th graders. Our concept is order of operations. This is part one. Remember, 5th graders, it always seems impossible until it is done. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the description box to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. We have our fifth grade star math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also help us spread the word about hype, math, and reading. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's do a review on order of operations. We have PEMDAS or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So what does that mean? First, P stands for parentheses or brackets. This is what you would do first. Next is exponents. Then it's multiplication and division in order from left to right. Last, it's addition and subtraction in order from left to right. Let's look at some examples. We have three squared times four in parentheses plus six. So for our P parentheses, we are going to do the operations in parentheses first. So in our parentheses, we have three squared times four. For our E exponents, we are going to first address three squared. Three squared is three times three. That means nine. Okay, that is equal to nine. So three squared is equal to nine. And now in my parentheses, I have nine times four. We have multiplication. So we're going to multiply nine times four, and that is 36. Now that I've completed all of the operations within my parentheses, I do not longer have it. Now I only have 36 plus six. That's addition, so 36 plus 6 is equal to 42. So my original expression was 3 squared times 4 in parentheses plus 6. That is equal to 42. Let's look at another example. We have 20 minus 10 divided by 5. We do not have a parentheses or an exponent in this expression, but we do have division. 10 divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. And now our expression is 20 minus 2, and that is equal to 18. Let's look at another example, and what a doozy it is. We have 8 squared plus 6 minus 2 in parentheses times 5 minus 10 divided by 2. But we can do it, fifth graders. Let's dive in. Step 1, we are going to uh, complete the operation within our parentheses. That is 6 minus 2, and that it equal, is equal to 4. So now our expression is 8 squared plus 4 times 5 minus 10 <laughs> divided by 2. So step 2, we're going to address our exponents. 8 squared is the same as 8 times 8, and that is 64. So now our expression after completing our exponents is 64 plus 4 times 5 minus 10 divided by 2. So now we're going to look at and address our multiplication and division. And remember, it's in order from right to left. So from right to left, we have 4 times 5. That is equal to 20. And then 
10 divided by two, that is equal to five. So now our expression is 64 plus 20 minus five. Now we can add and subtract. Remember, it's in, it's in order from left to right, and that's very important. So if you have multiplication or division, it's not that you do multiplication first and then division. What you do is look from left to right in your expression, and that is how you complete it, just like we did in our example, okay? So we have 64 plus 20 is equal to 84 minus five okay so we did you see that we added 64 plus 20 first that's 84 and then minus 5 is equal to 79 so our expression 8 squared plus 6 minus 2 in parentheses times 5 minus 10 <laughs> divided by 2 is equal to 79 <laughs> Wow, we got through it, great job. So let's dive into our questions. And remember, you can purchase the fifth grade math review workbook in our store. The link is in the description box. 18 says, a chef used one fourth cup of milk for one recipe. Then she used two cups of milk for each of five more recipes. The total number of cups of milk the chef used can be found by using this expression, one fourth plus two times five in parentheses. How many cups of milk did the chef use? A, 10 and one fourth cups. B, 11 and one fourth cups. C, 11 over four cups. Or D, 15 over four cups. So in order to solve this question, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? We are looking for how many cups of milk the chef used, okay? We're looking for how many cups of milk the chef used. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next step is what information can help find the answer? So the information that can help find the answer is the order of operations needed to be used to solve the problem. We have one fourth plus two times five. And we know that with PEMDAS, it's parentheses first, then expressions, then multiplication and division, and then adding and subtracting. And both of those are in order from left to right. So how do we solve this problem? The way that we solve this problem is we're going to first solve the expression inside of the parentheses and then we're going to add. So let's do that now. Here we are going to multiply what's in our parentheses two times five, that is equal to 10, and then we need to add one fourth plus 10, okay? One fourth plus 10 is equal to 10 and one fourth. So now that we know what our expression is equal to, let's look at our answer choices to see which one shows 10 and one fourth cups of milk. Do you see the answer? If you said A is the correct answer, you're absolutely right. One fourth plus two times five in parentheses is equal to 10 and one fourth cup. And that is it fifth graders for our order of operations part one. Remember, if you need a tutor, we have a link in the description box for parents to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Also, we have our fifth grade star math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.